Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Asper Witch. We are continuing our miniseries uh, about the Res Publica DLC. Uh, now, we are playing as uh, the Netherlands. I have been uh, preparing this, uh, this game for uh, this uh, Let's Play. Uh, by, I started as Burgundy and formed the Netherlands. Uh, the reason I did that was because I wanted to avoid the uh, the, f the start uh, where uh, the Netherlands uh, start as, as a uh, Dutch Republic. Uh, there is one. I wanted to avoid it for the reason that uh, uh, we are we would be at war with uh, Spain uh, and they would have lots of troops, so uh, it would be distracting. I thought. Uh, now. Uh, I have just converted to a Dutch Republic, and uh, it so happens that I'm in four wars at the moment. The major one being the French uh, reconquest of Cambrai. So instead of being at war with uh, Spain, I'm at war with France. But uh, yeah, I think we'll manage. I've beaten them four times uh, so far this game. Uh, uh, one thing I did uh, notice about uh, forming. Uh, the Netherlands is that when you when you uh, take the decision to form the Netherlands, uh, you will see all your all of your French uh, provinces to France. Uh, I tried to counteract that by releasing Bar as uh, a vassal and feeding them my provinces. But then when I took the the decision, France gained the territories even though I didn't control them. Uh, they took them from my direct vassal. So I reloaded and uh, uh, did the same thing. I released Bar, I fed them my provinces in France, and then I uh, broke their uh, vassalization. So they used to have uh, a lot more territory over here, uh, but uh, France has uh, since uh, uh, took some... Uh, took. Uh, uh, taking some of them back. Now, uh, we are, like I said, at war with France. They have uh, uh, these three allies, Hansa, Urbino and Venice. We are allied with Austria. Uh, they have Hungary in a uh, personal union. Bavaria is our is in a personal union under us. We have the vessels, the Palatinate and Trier, and the Lorraine is uh, part of the coalition against France. So that's the, the war allies we have. Now we are a bit undermanned, but my thinking is that we could probably try to uh, quickly get the Hansa out of the war and make them lose uh, 20,000 troops and then hopefully get Venice out as well. Uh, and we'll only have to deal with France. Uh, now this might uh, this might uh, backfire and will and perhaps end up losing a few provinces, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, for now, let's take a look at our government. We are the Dutch Republic, and um, uh, it is uh, election every four year and. Uh, during elections, we get to choose between two candidates. Uh, one from the Statists and one from the Orangists. Now, the Statists is the Republican uh, part of the, of the Union. Uh, if they are in control, we gain trade power, uh, for naval force limits and uh, yearly Republican tradition. And the Orangists is the Monarchists, the uh, they, well, if they are in control, they will give us uh, cheaper stability, uh, uh, larger land force limits, and uh, we will lose Republican tradition. And if they are in power, we will, uh, the ruler will stay until uh, he or she dies. And we, when the statists are in power, we uh, have an election every four year, and we can't keep them. Uh, so that's. Uh, that's the way it is at the moment. Now, uh, since I just formed this uh, republic, uh, our uh, 
Old King is the current stadtholder, uh, Charles II. Uh, since uh, it is uh, recently form, formed, uh, we are having an election. So that's why I chose this uh, moment to uh, begin this uh, uh, this recording, uh, this game. Uh, it's our very first election, and my reasoning, my thinking is that since we are in a war against France, and we are way over our force limits, uh, we should probably try to get the Orangists in power and hopefully we'll get the bonus to uh, our force limits uh, because at the moment we're losing a lot of money uh, because of that. Our over force limits, almost 10 ducats a month. Uh, actually, just a moment ago we were the Holy Roman Emperor, so we were getting uh, a huge bonus to our force limits uh, because of that. So that's why we are currently over our force limits. Uh, but when I converted to, when we converted to uh, Dutch Republic, we were no longer eligible to be the emperor. So Austria took over. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens when we pick this uh, orangist candidate, uh, Willem. The first Van Wesenberg will now rule our glorious nation. Uh, he is 335. Uh, it's uh, quite good. And uh, let's see. Orangists is in power. Yep, we are getting land force limits modifier plus 25%. Let's see. Yep, 55. So we are no longer over our force limits thanks to uh, putting the Orangists in power. And that would uh, put us back in the green, uh, money-wise. Now, we have a mission to incorporate the Palatinate. Maybe we should actually start doing that uh, soon. I have uh, put off doing it uh, since they are an elector, and I was uh, uh, enjoying being the emperor. But now that I can't be the emperor, uh, I might as well uh, uh, annex them. And I might try to incorporate uh, Bavaria as well into our, our little kingdom. Uh, but for now, let's see if we can't uh, take care of that uh, Hanseatic threat up here. Uh, we have um, quite a few troops as well. So let's take a look at our ideas, by the way, because uh, they recently changed from Bergen... Burgundian ideas to Dutch ideas. Uh, so we have increased naval force limits and uh, shipbuilding. Uh, and when we complete uh, our, all of our national ideas, we'll get uh, increased trade income by 15%. So that's good. Uh, found the Amsterdam Whistle Bank. So we get inflation reduction, we get an extra merchant and trade range, we get production efficiency, naval leader fire, tolerance of heretics, uh, siege ability, and infantry combat ability. So, yeah, quite a... Uh, quite, uh, uh, there's no real... Uh, uh, consistencies to these ideas. They're uh, a bit all over the place. There's production and there's trade. Well, those two are connected, uh, I guess, but uh, uh, well, there's naval and siege and tolerance and inflation. So, yeah, I don't know. Well, a bit of naval, a bit of trade. Uh, and then the, it's the infantry and siege. So they're, they're uh, all over the place. Actually, uh, for my ideas, I've picked uh, diplomatic and administrative ideas uh, to get uh, uh, better reputation and relations, as well as uh, uh, cheaper mercenaries. I've been using a lot of mercenaries uh, during this campaign, and I've uh, started going through the offensive ideas. But enough about that. Let's see if we can't win this war. Uh, let's see. Quickly go into the... Let's uh, split up. But 
regiment, uh, this one. There we go. Now I should be able to do this. Let's do it like that. Yep. There we go. Actually, let's split up once more. Get those troops there. There we go. Uh, we are actually reformed. Uh, we converted earlier, so we are currently fervent on war, increasing our morale. Uh, so let's keep converting our provinces. Uh, we're almost done, uh, so that's great. Uh, well, let's see if we can get any nice events uh, now that we are the Dutch Republic. Uh, I think the only real change to the Dutch Republic is this uh, uh, these two factions, the state, statists and the orangists. And, uh, and uh, who is in power. But we'll see about that. Uh, if uh, this guy stays in power long enough, we might even... Uh, no. We are gaining Republican tradition. I, will, I thought we were losing it, but because of base value, I guess, uh, base gain of one, we are not losing, at least. Uh, so we might not be able to go into a dictatorship. That was, uh, by the way, the word I was looking for in the last episode, in the end. Uh, it was terribly frustrating not finding the word you're looking for. So, let's look at this. We could be increasing our missionary strength even more, but uh, let's not do that. And we have one policy to pick, that gives us another uh, diplomat. And lower envoy time, we're going to skip that one as well. We don't really need that. Uh, now here's France. I'm probably going to let them... Uh, take these provinces for now and uh, try to get them back later. Uh, Poland has accepted peace with Ottomans. Great. We're out of that war. Now let's hope this uh, this uh, Hanseatic war is fast. I would uh, reduce their total troops by 18,000. The Republican Free Trade with a stadtholder like Willem I von Wesenberg, most nobles agree that there is no need for elections, which would only desta destabilize and weaken the Dutch nation. Many traders disagree. They find the institutions of the Republic, including free elections, to be crucial in ensuring Netherlands' const continued economic priorities. Under an autocratic stadtholder with expansionistic ambitions, the free trade and liberty they have enjoyed in the past may be threatened. If the current stadtholder is to rule for life, they demand that he shows dedication to these ideals. So, uh, what they demand is irrelevant. They are subjects of the Republic and must comply. Uh, will strengthen the organ, uh, Orangists? I always read Organists. Uh, Netherlands gets angered traders uh, on for, what, 15 years? No, 5 years. Uh, giving us 10% less trade efficiency. efficiency. Or we may concede some of their points and uh, reform accordingly, uh, strengthening, strengthening the statists by 25% and losing us 50 power. Uh, let's take a look at these. This, uh, so the Orangists are in power and uh, they have 33 uh, power. So even if they were to lose 25, uh, to the statists, we would still keep the Orangists in power, and it would only cost us 50 points to avoid uh, losing 10% trade efficiency. Now, I don't really see a point to to increase the Orangist uh, power more than necessary. I have a feeling that being somewhere in the middle uh, is a good way to to uh, being able to choose what what 
bonus as you want. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop back to the middle. We'll be at, uh, what, 8 uh, power for the Orangists. They should still be in power. So let's see about that. Uh, yeah, they are still in power, and we have 8 power. Uh, but they're, they, they have a majority, so the number of points is really irre irre irrelevant. Uh, well, let's uh, deselect these. How is our tax? 12.4. So, 8% tax would be quite good, actually, for just one revolt risk. And we are at minus 9% for... Well, it's Imperial Integrity and it's uh, Reform gives a lot of uh, good points for that as well. Uh, so let's actually pass that Reform, get some extra money in our bank. Uh, we don't need Stability Cost Modifier and the Missionary Strength as uh, we can wait with that. Let's see if we lose the, uh, what's, what's it called, the... One of these giving me 10%, right? Or did I already lose that one? Yeah, I guess so. For, from when I converted. Uh, well, anyway. Spread of the reformation. Okay, so... That uh is getting reformed. That's great. I don't mind. We are already reformed, so... Let's, uh, let's be happy for the free conversion. So that, that means we only have two more provinces to, to convert. Great. Uh, oh no, look, I missed those. Uh, so it seems um, I just recently lost the 10% extra, so perhaps we actually should take that, uh, uh, that uh, decision increase in. Let's see if we can, if it makes a difference. Two, three, four, five. So we are at 5 positive against 11 negative. That province is never going to convert. So let's cancel that and send it to convert Limburg instead. Well, actually, I think Protestant is uh, it's better to keep there. They're more sensible than Catholic people. Uh, the Siege of Liebig is done. Great. Now, let's see if we can't... Uh, Actually win this. I have a good feeling about this war. I have been uh, long at war with uh, with the French, and uh, yeah. it's interesting wars with the big blue blob. Uh, you have to really fight about it. Uh, there's no. It's not an easy win, seeing as they're have, since they have like one million manpower and. Uh, these amazing leaders. Mm. Okay, four, four, two, two, three, two. Not that good. Uh, they usually have uh, uh, at least one leader with uh, like six, five or something, five, six. Well, they've hidden him from me, so we'll see if he he returns soon. Now. For now, let's uh, get these guys back home. And uh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't me, that was uh, France winning their wars. Uh, well, we are almost done with the Siege of Bremen. And then we can... We lost the Siege of Artois. Well, they are making gains in here, but we are making gains in... Uh, the Hansa. Now, we could piece them out by now, but I'm thinking maybe I can vassalize them, actually. Giving me... No, I can't. 170% war score. Uh, well, do we want anything from them? Uh, I guess not. Uh, we could just make them uh, to annul their treaties with France. Uh, let's just... Uh, Make them give up their alliances and take some gold from them. I guess that's enough. Uh, could make them release some nation, but uh, that would be no real use for me personally. So yeah, let's uh, let's go with that. 
uh, get them out of the war and try to... I should go south and try getting uh, Venice out of the war. If I manage to get into Verona, it's a... It has large supply... No, not Verona. Treviso. It has large supply, so I can stack a big army up in, in there. And it has mountains, so... Uh, getting a defensive position in there could be could actually make a huge difference. I am a bit worried about these uh, French gains in uh, in the Netherlands, though. So I don't know. Uh, well, let's uh, let's increase our uh, prestige from land belts battles for now. And we got extra siege ability, uh, siege ability that uh, might come in handy. Actually, the uh, Hansa has entered a military alliance with England. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, let's see. This is... Uh, how many troops are here? 12, 15, that's 27, 31, plus uh, 8, that's 39. That's a lot of troops. Let's see. I, I want to... I really want to just sneak by most of it. Try to get down to Treviso. That's where the... Hopefully where the fighting will be going on. I'm going into Castle. Uh, okay. Let's... Uh, Turingen. Well, they're trying to catch me, I guess. Uh, August 9, August 5. So I'm safe, I think. Uh, we're going into, uh, let's see, August 20. Well, they will catch me here. So maybe I should try to actually, actually stay there. Uh, or at least, when do they arrive? August 14. Well, this is going to be painful, I guess. So there we go. Uh, they won't have time to stop, I think. But um, yeah, let's hope for this. 4-1. I don't know. It has fire, but uh, yeah. Oh, it's my best leader, so I'll have to pick it. Uh, let's see. If I, there they are trying to stack up on me, I guess. No, they're just waiting there. These guys are at least joining the fight. I really want to get into Venice, get them out of the war, before I try to reclaim my own territory. Uh, okay, let's split these in two to avoid uh, large amounts of uh, uh, yeah, it's called something. <laughs> Attrition. Thank you. Thank you, brain. Well, that's 18 supply limit. That's not gonna happen. Let's uh, split them up this way. Uh, okay, let's pick a leader. Uh, increase our maneuver. Will help us get there faster can take a... let's take the way around this way. Uh, now I wish... Uh, I wish uh, these wars would end the Austrian conquest of Salzburg. I don't want to fight Switzerland as well. Switzerland and Bohemia. It's, uh, it's not good. Uh, well, this will, they're going to Steiermark, and then to Graz. So who will get to Graz first? Uh, I'm their 20th, and they're their 26th, so I'll get the defensive bonus, and it's, and it's hills, so this could actually work out. 26th, yeah. Let's hope this, uh, this will work out good. 
We lost. No, I won. Oh, wait. Uh, that's uh, going the wrong way, I guess. Uh, well, I don't really want to go through Strymark. They have troops uh, there. So let's go through Vienna. I will hopefully... Yeah, looks like I'm winning this battle, even though I won't get my reinforcements. Now, I would be happy to just uh, white piece uh, Venice out of, out of this conflict. I managed to get the defensive position here as well. That's great. So they have minus three from the terrain and crossing. That makes one huge difference. Would you look at that? Uh, we have lost a lot of sieges. Well, they are making gains, but I think uh, I'll be able to manage. I hope so, at least. Uh, so let's uh, let's do it like this. One guy in Friuli, uh, and I guess I could split up some more. Send some troops into Verona as well. Try to siege a few provinces to get them out of the war. But I don't want to split up too much in case someone uh, someone arrives. Uh, now I should probably try to stack wipe those guys. That would be a good idea. I think. Uh, let's uh, let's do that. Get their army out of the way. So we lose production efficiency from salt crisis. No big deal. Uh, yeah. Here comes the French people. Uh, do I get out of there in time? No, I don't. Maybe if... Oh, well, I can't change now, can I? Pick a leader, no. Uh, so... I guess that means... Uh, let's see if, uh, if I can uh, persuade them to not attack. No, I can't. God damn, that's a mistake. Uh, and I even joined my, with my, the rest of my guys. Well, they still have the crossing penalty, so hopefully I'll be able to win this with my reinforcements. Uh, I do have a... I do have crappy morale, but, uh, yeah. Here's to hoping. I mean, this guy is... Uh, it's crazy. Well, let's uh, see what happens. I'm getting reinforcements from... Uh, but so are they. <laughs> uh, okay, incompetent diplomats. Uh, time fabrication and aggressive expansion, or diplo power. Well, I have no real use for fabricating claims, or I'm not, and I'm not going to get any AE. So let's just uh, pick that. Uh, okay, so. This guy took over, Siegfried Minuki, 3-3, uh, and they have a 3-3, so... Yeah, hopefully the crossing will help me win this. Uh, but now they have a 4-4, so... Yeah, and they're getting even more reinforcements. This is looking grim, I guess. Uh, we do have more troops for the moment, but more French people are on the way, and... Well, they are going to trend, so yeah. perhaps we will win this in time uh, to flee into Treviso, to the mountains. But uh, fights with France usually drag on. Their uh, the leaders are really slow dying. Uh, well, nothing uh, to do but uh, hope for the best. 
even if they do get these reinforcements, will be at the roughly the same size. Um, they will have a bit more morale, I guess, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, their 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 morale just skyrocketed, and we are not going to win this war then. Uh, can we get uh, no? They won't peace out. Well, uh, let's see what the what it's like. Uh, they only have uh, 63, 76, so 75, 80,000 80, troops, roughly. We might actually be able to to win this then, uh, if we are lucky. We don't have a lot of troops ourselves, but uh, we have the have a lot of mercenaries, or at least the potential to to get a lot of mercenaries. Let's reduce our war exhaustion for now, uh, and hopefully we can somehow manage to salvage this. Uh, now, what are giving them the most war score? Um, yeah, it's uh, Cambrai. So let's try to get that one back. Uh, and let's try to reinforce this army somehow. 25, 8, 20. Well, these, uh, these cannons are all my troops, so they won't really be reinforcing, uh, seeing as I have 200 manpower. So I should just probably just consolidate this and uh, try to try to get some uh, mercenary infantry to reinforce that army. Uh, so yeah, let's take out the loan and raise our war taxes as well. Uh, we want those, I guess. So yeah, I have a feeling this might actually work out. It might work out still. I'm not giving up. Even though this isn't uh, showing a lot of, uh... oh, this is uh, this is no good. Four one. Well, we have the possibility to reinforce a lot, so here's to hoping. Even though my morale is at what, like two or something? Yeah, one point seven, and they have like four point three, I think. 4.4. This isn't going to happen, right? No, never. And they have the better general. Uh, well, that was uh, crappy. Let's uh, cancel these guys for now. Let's see if we can't uh, make them up here instead. Where they can actually safely arrive and reinforce my guys here. Uh, consolidate before they arrive and hope for the best. This won't work either. My morale is uh, terrible. They won't let me get it back. Going to Brabant. Uh, let's keep reinforcing this army. That's our that's our only hope. I think. Well, Terzio is good. A lot of pips. Uh, I like when you get uh, advanced mercenary units. Sometimes even more advanced than your own. Whoa! Now this might actually work out. Especially if my mercenaries get there in time. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Ah, we won. Great. Uh, now, let's... Uh, okay, so trade efficiency and diplo power or 
462 ducats. Well, I'm gonna need the uh, the cash money right now. Uh, that's the better choice. So 18111. Uh, we could use some more cavalry. Let's uh, let's get that sorted. Four, five of them, perhaps. Uh, let's see. They have. Well, it's uh, starting to even out. Uh, let's get to Cambrai as fast as possible. Start that siege. Uh, get in position. And uh, hopefully, I'll be able to regain some morale and actually defend it this time. Uh, let's see what Venice says about peace. Can I? Can I get you out of this war? I will annul all treaties with, treaties with Austria, and I will pay you 192 ducats. Yeah, I believe I actually will do that. Uh, that would be really advantageous to me, getting the Venetian army out of there. So let's uh, let's do that. There we go. Uh, I will enter a royal marriage. So now we are at... Uh, Roughly the same size. As soon as I get my uh, mercenary horses, uh, will be will be quite even, and I have the better better economy, I think. At least I have the potential for a great economy. Uh, now I could probably try to break these sieges or blockades. They have, uh, yeah, six, seven, seven heavy ships, and some. Uh, Maybe I should try to try to get some heavy ships as well. Well, they're 400 days away, so well, maybe that's a waste of time. I should ha I should have uh, gotten an ally with boats. Well, hopefully uh, they will be. Oh, France pieced out Austria. Oh well, we're back down then, I guess. But uh, yeah. I'm not giving up. Uh, we are losing money, but uh, it's fine. We can afford losing money. They will arrive in Hainaut, uh October 24. Well, this guy might as well go the other way around then. They are going nowhere. Artois. Well, Screw you. They want to get my horse, I guess. <laughs> but I'm not letting them. And I'm getting Cambria back. Cambrai. Well, I guess it is Cambria. In French. Mm, okay, so now they have uh, 20, 30, lots of troops. Can I get uh, Urbino out of this war as well? No, I can't. Not even with a concession of defeat. Minus 31. Well, we are, we have not lost this war yet. And now they're going into Hynut. We're stacking up. Let's see if we can get that guy there. And we should probably be making some more mercenaries. Definitely more mortars. Uh, let's, uh, Take a few loans, uh, make some more mercenaries, we need more cannons, we need more... Definitely need that one. And the Swartzerite. Let's uh, also make some of those, and some of those. Now this will... Let's take one more loan, for good measure and some Landsknechton infantry. This will hopefully be enough to reinforce uh, during this uh, battle. Well, they're going to Artua. Well, I'm gonna stay then. They're going to Artua, both of them. Uh, I think they are getting... Yeah, they are getting uh, attrition as well, so... As, uh, it's... Uh, the longer they wait, Now, it's uh, now they're incoming. Well, I've got my morale up to almost to max, so that's uh, 
working in our favor. Uh, you know what? December 3, let's slow this down. Let's pause at December 2 and uh, let's end this episode here. Uh, we'll uh, see how this battle goes in the next episode. I have some uh, some very high hopes for this, uh, but uh, for now, thank you for watching this uh, this uh, strange look at Res Publica uh, that is more or less uh, war against France. But we have uh, we have looked a bit at the Orangists and the Statists, uh, and hopefully we'll get some more events to fire in the time to come. Uh, there might even be some war events, hopefully. Uh, so for now, thank you for watching. Be sure to like the episode and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, so long.